Good morning, and welcome to another weekend reading vlog. Um, I don't actually have children today, so while they're out of the way, <laughs> uh, I figured we also do a project while I listen to an audiobook. So let me just show you what project I'm going to work on. So this is my living room currently and my shelves. Um, I'm doing a little bit of cleaning, so mind the mess. What I'm doing today is actually adding a shelf behind this couch. And why I'm going to do that is that there is a plug right here. And when the couch is all the way back, you can't access it. So we're going to... Add a shelf behind there that's kind of hidden. And also I bought a plug that's recessed into the shelf and plugs into the plug. So that way you can actually just plug a charger in the top. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to paint the shelf or not yet. That might be in the next vlog. Because this whole area <laughs> is getting made over. Um, this is only part one of this DIY plan, but you know what? Let's just get started. While I'm working on this project, um, which I will be doing by myself, uh, I'm going to be listening to Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. It is a fantasy romance. I don't know how much romance is in it, but we'll find out. And I'm really excited about it. So let's just get on with it. So all I did was trace around this. And now we need to cut this out with the jigsaw. The last part for this is that I need to screw it down, but they didn't provide me screws and I don't know that I have any. I'll have to go out and look in the garage. I know. My dad will say, this is why you keep all the screws. He's right. He's always right. Of course, when you're out here, you can't see it, but you can easily see it when you walk up. So at some point I will be painting this white. My only problem with that is I'm also gonna have to seal it because when you paint something white and you have furniture that has fabric that bumps up against it constantly, you're gonna get the backside of your furniture all white. But I'm not doing that today. As you can see, I'm tired. <laughs> really, that only took like an hour and I took my headphones off halfway so I didn't get very far in my book that's okay it's gonna be a long weekend and I've got other projects good morning <laughs> it was a long day and a long night last night um we had a storm come through that the wind was absolutely crazy our power actually had like several flickers the lights were flickering so I got all the lanterns out and the flashlights just in case it went out completely luckily it didn't and there's no wind today and there's no rain today so however i do have tons of muddy paws <laughs> that i need to clean up and i just don't want to 
my husband came in and started making breakfast for the kids. <laughs> um, yeah, Daughter of No Worlds is really good so far. Um, you have Tisana, Tisana, who um, was enslaved as a child, and she was told she could buy her freedom for a thousand gold pieces, and eight years later, she finally does that. But when she goes to buy her freedom, he doesn't let her. And then she kills him. <laughs> and now she's on the run. She went to this place, would take her in and help her uh, wield her power so she can actually go back and save her um, friends and her people from um, being slaves. And now I'm at the part where she's training with this very curmudgeon man named Max. He is reluctantly training her. He doesn't really want to. And yeah, it has been really enjoyable so far. I'm like 20 chapters in and there's 80 chapters total. So I'm only a little bit in, but it's good so far. I am reading another book, uh, an arc actually called One Duke Down. It is by Anna Bennett. That one is like so adorable. I just can't, I can't, I can't even. <laughs> you have this fiery redhead named Poppy and she is a fisherwoman. She's um, of lower class and she goes to find her fish in the nets and instead of fish she finds a man and she's pissed. She is pissed because there goes her catch of the day. She um, He's washed ashore and she goes up to him and kind of like kicks him a little and goes hey get out of here and he's you know he's not responsive so she's like oh god. <laughs> She hauls him up the beach, splashes some water on him, and he's all choking. <laughs> and she's all, get out of here, pirate. We don't need you here. We don't want your kind here. And he's like, I'm not a pirate. I'm a duke. And she's all, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, all right. A duke. <laughs> he's washed ashore because he actually got hit in the head at a after a night of drinking. And someone is trying to kill him. And so he is going to pretend... To fake his death so he can figure out who kills him. He negotiates um, with her to help him. And they're like, oh, they're having some adventures together. <laughs> and I love this. I love it so much. Um, uh, This cover to die for because it's like this orange dress and they're both all smiling with each other. And, oh, it gives me all the like tingly feelings. <laughs> My brain is not awake yet, but I'm sure a shower will help with that. So let's get ready. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't even get it out. Start pulling. There we go. Directly. Oh wait, that's because I had three. Because <laughs> I had three. This one's got legs. <laughs> Oh my god, that one has more legs. How did I get all the carrots with legs? <laughs> Bigger. This one's okay. Let me see. Oh, that's a good one. There you go, garden fresh carrots. Look at them. You guys want a carrot? Look at the good girl sit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I thought they were supposed to have the green parts. She won't eat it. <laughs> See? <laughs> Poor Leo, you didn't get your carrot, huh? Here. No, up. Oh, you're getting, getting one? <laughs> He's gonna run away with it. <laughs> These are my carrots. These are my carrots. Go on. We're back from my mom's. I'm just sitting here um, doing a little computer work. I'm going to make some more headway in my audiobook of Daughter of No Worlds. I think I'm now at like chapter 31. But anyways, that's going to be our evening. I will check back in with you tomorrow because tomorrow is definitely going to be a big audiobook day. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I would be checking in again tonight, but I have to. So I got my water. We're in the kitchen. I'm like probably 55, 60% of the way through Daughter of No Worlds right now. And um, there has been a shift. We uncovered a secret. And it feels like there has been 
a story shift that there is an added POV, which is weird now because now I'm thinking if we had his POV the whole time, this would have been so good because it is a fantasy romance and this is a slow burn romance and obviously he's the hero. So I feel like almost like I wish I would have gone back and had that POV. <sighs> I'm a little sad. Not sad. Sad's the wrong word. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> it's still really good. I am loving this book. I just finished Daughter of No Worlds. It was so good. I'm still confused at why they didn't have the male narr narrator in the beginning of the book too. I just didn't understand that. But um, the second half was so much action, so, so many like magical traveling things and so many magical elements to it. And yes, it was fantastic fantasy romance. I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to give it four stars. I don't know if it was a five star for me, but it was definitely a four star. Okay. I am continuing reading One Duke Down. I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm at a part where they just, like, the whole thing is they're trying to figure out who's trying to kill him. So suspect number two they've already dealt with. And now they're stopping at an inn for the night. And Lord help me. Lord help me if there's only one bed. I just automatic five stars. Automatic five stars. I can't. I wouldn't. I won't even be able to handle it. Oh, let's see what happens. It's even better than I wanted. <laughs> it's, it's better than I could hope for. Poppy is my new favorite heroine of all time. <laughs> Just, I'm obsessed. I literally went and pre-ordered this book right now. <laughs> Y'all need to read it. It is so good. So good. Good morning. Oh man, last night we were woken up, well I guess this morning, at four in the morning with a pretty incredibly severe storm that rolled through in thunder and lightning. And the, I don't think my pets have ever even heard thunder because my cat jumped like four feet. Um, these storms in California are a little crazy and it's really dark here, so forgive the lighting. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I did finish One Duke Down last night. I couldn't stop reading it. Uh, as you could tell from the smile on my face, it's going to be a five-star read for me. <laughs> I just, I had so much fun reading it. I really loved Poppy and I loved Keen. I mean, she is just this fiery, quick-witted girl and very guarded um, because of her traumatic past with nobility. And he is just this hopeless romantic who is completely supportive and there for her in all the right ways and it just works so well i just i love it especially coming off of quite an angsty read like daughter of no worlds which dealt with some heavy topics in there um it was just such an, a nice fun read and i love it um it comes out soon in january so i have pre-ordered it and i can't wait to have it on my shelves i just need it i need it i need it i need it i love it so much <laughs> Um, stay dry out there if you're in California or anywhere else that is just having crummy weather. And I guess I'll see you next time. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!